and cheers. cheers. Another week. Another beautiful Ooh. week. And actually, this weekend, I went out for a beautiful dinner at uh, Bar Isabel. Yep. Very, like, Spanish kind of cuisine. Portuguese. Eh, some Portuguese, too. But the, the, a lot of Portuguese wines on the wine list. And this is the kind of place where... Pricey place. They got like a sommelier come and like talk to you about the wines and stuff. I gave him like three different wines I'd like to have. Like price range from, you know, I'm not going to say what my price range is, but you guys can yeah. uh, guess. You got good taste. So I got good taste. I, I can wine, imagine. Some Portuguese wine. Wine in the city is a racket everywhere you go. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. They have some lower price wines though if you want to go there too. But anyways, so uh, I pick, point out these three Portuguese wines. And he was like, can I maybe direct us to Spain, some Spanish wines? It might be like more looking for the flavor that you want. And I'm like... Absolutely not, brother. <laughs> no fucking Get way. Get out of here. <laughs> no way. He's like, oh, can I ask you why? I'm like, I'm Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, all say, I need. And, I, and then you go, are you paying for the bill? <laughs> <laughs> if you're paying for the bill, you can point me any direction you want. I said, I said, I'm Portuguese. And he's like, okay, all right. I guess that's all there is to it. Yeah. And then I said, you know what? I, I don't even need your help. I picked the one I wanted. And it <laughs> yeah. was great. And I knew it was going to be you great. shoot him away. Yeah. yeah. And you say, why do you have a job here? <laughs> what do you do? What do you even do here? You're like the bathroom attendant. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants you here. Podcast where we talk about all things Portuguese soccer, the good, the bad, and the funny. Is episode one thirty two. I am Evan, Patrick, Justin, Chris. What's up? Nothing, just extra water from this uh, fully <laughs> caffeinated gum. We did, we did caffeine gums. <laughs> we did two, 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 two. We are chewing like crazy. <laughs> uh, and this Vito Verde is so refreshing and cold. I'm loving it. Pour me another one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the jumbo bottle. Well, we got some work to do. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, how you guys doing? Justin, did you have a bit or was that it? No, that was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> you shot right off the top. Yeah, I thought okay. that's what you wanted. Boom. No, I was talking Action. about this space. Yeah, what are we supposed to do here now? Let's clear the air space. You know? Oh, this space. Yeah. Hmm. We thought- thank all the, lo- the new listeners for coming in. Thank you, new listeners. That's right. Thank mm-hmm. you. We, what do we do? We're Portuguese boys talking about Portuguese soccer. Yes. Portuguese players, Portuguese teams. Two sets Portuguese of brothers. Ones. Yep. Portuguese Canadian podcast from based out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and uh, and going direct to Palma Radio, yeah. California. Uh, we got some features on the show. We do Juan Wonder, which is we uh, give an award to our favorite Portuguese player of the week. Got to be yep. Portuguese to win it. Got to be. Um, we do Stonk of the Week, which is like the most impressive shot goal that happens in the week. It's got to be a blast. A blast. It's got to be a top blast. from pretty far. We yeah. like that. Inside the box, not a stonk. <laughs> That's Unless a- maybe the tip-tip corner, yeah. the furthest corner out, maybe you can consider that. But you can't go too far away. Can't be at half. No. If it's too far, nah. It becomes a floater. We'll talk yeah, it's about a floater. We'll talk about floaters. We'll get into yeah. floaters. <laughs> in the box blast. Yeah. There's a difference. Um... You guys sporting a nice tuck with your jerseys today? Ah, uh, yeah, I tucked mine in. Ah, I thought today was tuck day, so I tucked as well. Yeah. I, I can tuck. I, <laughs> I can, can still tuck. Do you want tuck? to right now? Sure. You know what? In honor of one of my favorite players this year, Jean Neves, I will tuck. It's, yeah, okay. it's sort of a Jean And Neves. departed recently from the Toronto Raptors, OG Ananobi. I'll tuck for him mm. as well. He was a tucker. He was a tuck. Mm, OG. And no, the guy who played for the Leafs, tucker. 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 He was a Tucker. And for the Raptors, PJ Tucker. We had him too. There you go. A lot of reasons to tuck. Uh, A couple Tuckers on the Toronto teams. Yeah, we like Tucks. We like Tuckers here. Uh, Okay. Should we get into the uh, the football? Yeah, let's do it. No, no. Let's talk more about Tucks. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Sometimes we call like a a shot. There's a certain kind of shot we call a Tuck too. You just tuck it into the net. Pedro Gonzalez used to do that a lot. The little Tuck into the side netting and we call that a Tuck. loves a nice Tuck. Yeah. Um... Yeah, what about a half tuck? Uh, half tuck's good. Half yeah. tuck classic. Doug, Dougie Gilmore, my favorite hockey player, did uh, a half yeah, tuck. Big hockey, hockey players do half tucks a lot, yeah. yeah. Gretzky did it. Grabowski, legend. Oh, Grabowski. Mm. I love Grabowski. All right, now we're ready. 
Sure. Okay. We've covered all the bases. <laughs> uh, transfer updates. There weren't that many this week. I was surprised because the last two weeks have been crazy. Slow down. Yeah. Uh, French center defensive midfielder from Estoril, Coba Coindretti. Apparently, huh. Sporting won him. Is he a fast race car driver? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Coba Coindretti. Coindretti. Uh, yeah, it looks very promising. And uh, Morita's out for Asia Cup. So I guess they would just want some reinforcement uh, back yeah. there. And Japan will go far in that. Yeah. And yeah. Estoril been looking good, and I think he's a big part of it. Uh, no, that's not true. The biggest part of that surreal is their theme song that they play before <laughs> matches and at half times. Eshto, Eshto real. That's Good what song. Gets them pumped. Yep, that's a that's a pumper. All right, we got to go to that stadium, hear that song. Yep. Yeah, live. Got to hear it live. Uh, Rafael Guerrero. Apparently, uh, Al Hilal want him. They I, they want him. I don't know if he'll go. If he does go, it just confirms my suspicion for a while that this guy's the biggest bitch who ever lived. Ooh, what? Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Why are you hating? He's a, when he's a he soulless, bi- heartless money lover. No, when he bitched out, first of all, Ronaldo had to push him back onto the field during the Euro to tell him to finish the game. He was crying. He wanted to get off the field. He was too tired. And Ronaldo pushed him. Remember that? We all remember. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo was doing a lot of pushing at that time. Yeah, people don't forget. Yeah. Um, although he did set up the goal. Uh, I mean, he hit the, the post, and then that kind of knocked Lloris out, right? And then Eder scored the goal. But anyways... Um, yeah, good free kick taker. Yeah, but, um, but then his Dortmund team has a chance to break up the, uh, the Bayern Munich monopoly. They collapse, bitch out hard, and then he bitches out by going to Bayern Munich. And now hopefully they don't win this year. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to go off to Al Halal and go off in the sunset. Yeah. I guess it's not even the sunset, the hot, hot sun of, uh, <laughs> of the desert. Just roast out there. Yeah. And um, good riddance. Okay. And sayonara and see you later. I didn't realize you had all this, uh, you know, very aggressive feelings towards. Uh, oh, Rafael I do Guerrero. now. Yeah. yeah. I, when he moved Dude. to Bayern Munich, I said that you are you're the, he's the Kevin Durant of the of the German league. Oof. Guy's not even Portuguese. And he's oh, French. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's kind of French. But he's uh, a French. <laughs> he's French. <laughs> Can I direct you to some French Portuguese players? Sir? <laughs> um. <laughs> Hey man, he put in he put in his good service for Portugal, so he's always in the good books to some degree. Yeah, That's he's true. A classic Portuguese player. Yeah. I think Davies is supposed to leave Bayern, so yeah, Madrid. wouldn't that open up a spot for him? Yeah, but he's always injured anyways. Might be too uh yeah. too high a level for him to keep up with at this point. And he's been playing midfield more for Bayern. Yeah. Okay, and um just other in transfer news, I know you're gonna go off to Gonzalo Borges, right? Going yeah. nowhere. Sergio says he needs him. He needs him. Okay. Leo said, we put our interest out. They know we want him. And Sergio says, nope. We got to keep him. Can't okay. let him go yet. He's a good little player. Yeah, I like him. Like I him think a lot. a lot of guys on Porto were like, pretend, tell their agents, like, pretend I'm going to get out of here because Sergio's not playing me and yep. this team's not, is kind of like struggling. So I don't know. Maybe it's their move and, and maybe they'll have a great second half of the season. Who knows? Um, can I, we'll, we'll go off to Benfica. Go for it. We're going to get this guy, uh, was it Alvaro Fernandez? Uh, it looks yes, like yes. the left back. Left back. It looks like close. Fabrizio Romano keeps pushing. It should have been announced today, but I guess it wasn't. Um, Delay on the paperwork. I like how they got a buy option now. So it's like we can Ooh. actually keep him if he's good. He's yeah. supposed to be a big deal. Apparently he won like best player of uh, the youth team. And I think he was the captain for the U23s for United. Oh, yeah. Well, youth team, I mean, you're you're playing against a ki- bunch of kids. Like, let's see yeah. what happens when you play some men. But Speaking if you're, of, if you're the best of the kids, that shows some promise. Start. Speaking Thanks. of, Patrick and I watched some videos today. There's always highlights, a video. Lights. Welcome to Benfica. Of course. And the highlights of this guy. And most of them were against kids, but there were some Granada clips in there. And he looks good. He looks oh, like yeah, a. He looks really good. Looks like a capable player. Looks well, like a Grimaldo 2.0. We got our Grimaldo back. Yeah. And then we also wa- went and watched some. What's this guy's name? Benjamin Rollheiser. Rollheiser. Ooh. Now this guy looks mm. good. Rollheiser <laughs> looks good. I like the name. I like his name too, yeah. Benjamin? No, that's pure evil name. Ben Come on, German, German Argentinian, this man is pure evil. You but need a little bit of evil on your team. <laughs> we do. You need an enforcer, someone that doesn't not doesn't want to fuck around. <laughs> we do, we do. I think the sins of his ancestors could be forgiven if he plays very well on Benfica. <laughs> <laughs> What if his ancestors were just nice people? Hey, we uh, hope they were. We hope they were. Yeah. But uh, 
Rollheiser is going to uh, come into Benfica, and I feel like since he's coming next year, he's going to be the... Because Di Maria is going to move on next year. We mm-hmm. all kind of know that. So he'll be the, the, the Di Maria replacement, and we'll have one. Uh, we'll have someone to pop right in there. And I like that, you know, there's a lot of movement in the team. They're switching around, but they're prepared. They have a plan. You know what I mean? It's like... They they know there's gonna be there's, they know there's gonna be changes but they have a plan. Right? I like that a lot. Yeah, you got to think about the future. Not, I mean, this first half of this year didn't look like they kind of botched it, but with the striker and the left back no replacement. But well, who knew Big Papa Plump uh, <laughs> Artur Cabral was gonna be so shit? <laughs> <laughs> he scored a nice goal this week. Yeah, he's coming back into the good graces, and he can jump. He the man hu- can <laughs> jump. He got hugged by a bunch of fans. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, more than one because it's hard for one person to hug all oh that. My God. <laughs> that must have hurt those guys. Yeah, he jumped on them. Yeah, uh, there was a there was a scene. You know, I don't know if I've already talked about this, but like Gonzalo Gedge doesn't have like the best knees or whatever. He scored a goal in like a Tasa game, and Artur Cabral like came running towards him to jump, and he like just held him up like, don't like stop, like you're not jumping <laughs> no, up on no. me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got any more uh, transfer updates? Anything? Um, England, abroad, anywhere? Spain? I don't know. You guys know Nothing? anything? Yeah, been... uh, uh, Jane Sancho uh, went, moved on to... Um, yeah, went back to Dortmund. He went back to Dortmund, yeah. and I read something today. Like uh, Someone asked Ten Hag anew about, about his situation. He's like, he knows what he has to do to come back. It's like, dude, this man really wants the apology. <laughs> fucking like, bitter, how bro. How fucking... Club like, is just wasting millions of dollars a month and just paying this guy for... Sitting on the bench. That's a, insanity. A Dutch person cannot be the bigger man. He says, yeah. no. This well, he, he, knows, he, has, he must apologize to me. <laughs> Get down on your knees and tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, into the toss. Uh, Sporting Schley Tondela for nothing. Uh, Giocares with two goals and Pote with two goals. Pote opened the scoring two early goals for him. Nice against uh, Tondela. We remember Tondela from their time in the first division recently. Yeah. But uh, now they're playing out of second division, and, uh, yeah, Sporting had their way with them. Oh, it must be nice to play all these second division teams in the Tasa. Oh, my goodness. Right, Sporting, mm-hmm. a nice easy walkthrough for Just them. a little confident booster right there. They got another second division team in the next round. Yeah. No, so, yeah, good win for Sporting, easy win. It's always nice when they're easy, right? Yeah. So. Well, whatever. You're gonna have to face the big team sooner or later, right? You get it out of the way, then yeah, you're cruising. Yep. You know who had to play big team early? Benfica. Yep. They had to play Braga. Three two game. Dropped um, them. Yeah. After uh, the quarry men opened the scoring through uh, Zalazar hitting one uh, right off Juan Mario. Nice little post. Just hit off that guy. He was a pylon. Oh pylon <laughs> man. Uh, Arthur Cabral works some magic to get them back into it, and then Zalazar hits probably the most perfect stonk you've ever seen to tie this game. And if this is you listening for the first time and you don't know what stonk is, perf- that's prime example. That is the that's as money as you can get. That's a stonk. He it, stonked it. It had everything we loved. It was a volley. Yeah, it just went top corner. Good. It's off the top bar. Upward down. trajectory the whole and way. Steady elevation. Yep. Yeah, with increasing velocity. Yep. Ball to hit spinning. that crossbar. Uh, yeah, smash the crossbar down and out. And it was beautiful. It, it's also nice. It hits the down and then it hits the top netty when it comes back up. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. That's when you watch and it hurts you. Like, oh. 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 <laughs> Shit. They got kicked in the nuts. <laughs> That's one of those goals where it's like, it doesn't even matter what team is playing. You see that and you're like, That's impressive. Yeah. Even it happens against your team, you're like, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that's Shit. good. Yeah. Yeah, and it did it did happen against our team. Yeah, um, hurt. But you know, uh, we took we did take the lead with Artur Cabral two one. Finally, like did a, does a nice move in the box, and then does what he always does, which is shoot it right at the goalie. But this time it went through the goalie's legs. Yeah, so well, he knew he was gonna do that right through his legs. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> just spray and pray. What is it? That is essentially <laughs> his, that is his <laughs> his motto: spray and pray. Um. And then, like we said, runs to the fans. The fans are now accepting him. Too little, too little, too late. <laughs> hey, he's fighting for it, man. Are they actively trying to sell him, or are they just like whatever? I think I think the odd man out might be Moose in this situation now that Artur Cabral is coming in, and it we spent be. we spent twenty million on him. It's yeah. like it does look bad to get rid of him. 
how are you going to get 20 million back if you don't, if you just say he's like a bust? I, mean, I remember yeah. they had RDT. He did not yeah. roll the Tomash. He did not do well. I think he scored less than Arturo Cabral for sure. I think maybe he had one goal. Less. Yeah, and like in terrible. January, they, they got their money back though, I think. That was wild. I don't know how. <laughs> That, I don't know how they either. They, uh, the former grease greaseball president, must yeah, have pulled maybe. some strings or something. RDT, he was Spanish though, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can find a Spanish club that'll buy it. Brazilians, I don't know, might not be the same type of market. Mm-hmm. RDT, slicked back hair, <laughs> real slicked real back, slick. real, and a little mustache too. Yeah, he was kind of evil. <laughs> Arthur Cabral, been having too much. Uh, he's been living it up in Lisbon too much. Too much Buckley out. Nah, he's bucket out. Yeah. Hey, he's he got yeah, big bone. He's big a lot bone. of carbs there. Bucket out is a healthy one of the healthiest fish you have. Cristiano Ronaldo eats it almost exclusively. Yeah, yeah. But he um, he's been doing. It's when you start eating a lot of potatoes. <laughs> the potatoes, potatoes. potatoes. potatoes and the, the rice. potatoes, the rice, the pointy bread that can stab a man's <laughs> eye out. <laughs> the natas, the yeah. natas get you too. Ah, uh, yeah. Nata's the desserts. Yep. yep. Um, arson. But, oh, he. He has been playing well, and this game he's been setting. He set up another goal. He set up the game-winning goal with a little Ooh. flick to Arsenis. Arsenis gets in there, finds the side netting. Yeah, oh, beautiful goal. Yeah, yeah Cabral had a few other chances too. He was uh, doing well. Yeah, he was in the game. It was a nice goal. You noticed him this time. But I was watching the game, and I was like, I was a little sad that that was the game-winning goal. I was like, I was expecting something more. That was a nice goal. More or even a tie. Keep it going. Go to a shootout. I feel okay. like the goal didn't justify like a, a win of a game, especially after seeing that Zalazar fucking. They're not always not good enough for. Oh, I not. see. You think that goal? You think the Zalazar goal should be worth two? <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Sorry. <laughs> should be worth two. Man. They're just one. <laughs> Fuck. It's not American sports. In American sports, it would be, but would luckily be they seven. didn't invent this one. So. Yeah. Uh, João Moutinho celebrates his thousandth game there. That's a lot. Uh, professional. Damn. Damn. Through and through that guy. You know what, too? He's never had, like, I mean, maybe one season or two, like, not that many injuries. Very, very yeah. sort of the man dependable, it, reliable guy. Good he's, knees. He's blessed. Yeah. yeah. He's like a diesel engine. Mm-hmm. You know what's not talked enough about? He, like, he was there at um, Monaco, the years where it was, like, him, Bernardo Silva, oh, yeah. Mbappe, like, those crazy years when they had, like, an amazing team and they won uh, League One. Yep. But, uh, yeah, shout out to João Moutinho, another Euro winner. Mm-hmm. Legend forever. Mm-hmm. He hits well. He hits well. He's won the French League. Yeah. He's won the Portuguese League. He's won the Euro Cup. But not the English League. No, he's only a wolf there. Mm. Wolves didn't quite do it in his time. Uh, Benfica did do it this time. And they go through against what is a tough matchup, Braga, in the, in the last 16. Mm. And uh, we, this is a tasa that we want. We want this tasa bad. Oh yeah, we say I want this. I want. Don't this. win it enough. Yeah, Porto's won the last two. Yeah. That's too many. That's too too many. You gotta stop that. And we're on our way to get another one, boys. They we, got they got the better bracket. We pop yeah. that's the real. Finally, this season. Oh my God, they've had our fucking number all year, and Sergio had enough. Um, Evan Nielsen just unloads on these guys. A hat trick. It looks like that guy is really coming together. Finally. Yeah. It's taking some time. And now they're like, Taremi's out on vacation doing his <laughs> little side tournament. <laughs> what, time to shine. What you were promising a season and a half ago yeah. is finally coming to fruition yes. now. And I mean, he's looked good in the Champions League too. He's been scoring there. Um, and that's what's really important. Yes. That's the biggest that stage possible, right? Yeah, man. And I think we started Chico that game, too. Chico, Galeno, they need to start. They need to be starters no matter what. I don't know why it's taking so long for Sergio to figure this out. Uh, But that first goal, Pep just launching the ball up from the back line. Evan Nielsen brings it down. Boom, in the net. It was a beautiful pass, but, I mean, still a lot of work for Evan Nielsen to do. That was impressive, that finish, right? Smacks it home. Nice, Uh, Nice volley touch, you know. Sorry, sorry. Beautiful touch, beautiful volley. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love bar a, down, little cheese. Yeah, I love a, go- a goal that's um, kind of shot right over the goalie. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it was just too hard. Like yeah. you, you couldn't have got that if you tried, right? And you obviously you tried. Brute force. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is a penalty, and then the final one, nice little one timer in the box, uh, and then Galeno with like a nasty run into the box and deeks the shit out of the goalie. 
Well, he had to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he had to. You're right there. You got the speed. The goalie's out. What are you going to do? Come on. Yeah, but it was like a couple moves because then the defender came in on him. You had, you had to get that guy too. Ah, Galeno's got him down. He's got his number. That's what he's. That's his specialty, man. Uh, but yeah, looking great. Finally, nice to get some redemption against Estoril, and yeah, make a make a statement in this Tasa. That's mm-hmm. what we needed. Um, other big game: Guimarães go through with a one nothing win over Penafael. I think Jota Silva scored in that one. And then Santa Clara edge out Nacional in a shootout. Island battle there. Yeah. The Island Boys? Island Boys. <laughs> uh, so the remaining teams for the next round, which is the quarters, Benfica, Porto Sporting, Guimarães, Gil Vicente, Vizela, and then Union Lady is still in it, and Santa Clara. Ooh, okay. Do you have the bracket? You know who's playing who? Yeah, it's um, Benfica has Benfica Vizela, Vizela. Sporting, uh, you know, Leria. And Porto has a Santa Clara, so I think I think oh. Santa Clara can do something there. Maybe, maybe I don't they'll think be able so. To, think. Yeah, maybe they'll be able to pull something off there. Obviously, I hope so. Is it in the Azores? Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, and if and Benfica is lucky enough to get through uh, Vizela, we're on Sporting side of the bracket, so we'll have to go through Sporting to get to the final. And you Which, know who's waiting for you there, brother. Well, who knows? Santa Clara could be waiting for us there. <laughs> we don't know. And then yes. the other one's uh, Gil Vicente Guimarães. Ooh, and I you would play the winner of that, Porto. Porto Guimarães, is, that's a tasty match. Mm-hmm. I will say. That mm-hmm. is exciting stuff. Yeah, that could give you problems. Pacheco. Yes. They got nothing else to play for. Well, actually, no, they're, they're doing well. They're He's doing, cooking. They jump ragged this week. All right, before we get into the league, uh, thank you once again for listening to the podcast. Just a reminder, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, back on YouTube, if that's how you get your pods. Two minutes. Um, and then, yeah, take a, take a minute, leave a rating or review. Uh, we are on Pama Radio, Pama Talk. I feel like uh, some more Portuguese cultural language podcasts, I think mostly in English. Good, uh, some good programs there. And uh, they also do music and other stuff. So check out Palma Radio. And finally, join us on Patreon. Uh, we do an extra after show podcast there. And then, I don't know, some other fun fun content that we upload there. It's nonsense. We're drunk by then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a little bit more than nonsense stuff. We'll check chew more out. gum, too. Yeah. We're chewing. Yep. Um, so, yeah. Support us if, uh, if you're enjoying the show. All right, let's get into the Portuguese league. <sighs> league starts with the Algarve Derby. Porti minutes get the better of friends. one nothing through Carlinhos' penalty. And that is enough to claim bragging rights in the south. Uh, shout out to Nakamura in net. Always fantastic. Japan didn't bring him to the Asia Cup. What were they thinking? Yeah, I don't even know who their goalie is. Did he fly out on a PJ right after? No. <laughs> Maybe he did the Onana. <laughs> Maybe did the Onana? Maybe. Maybe. They needed him for the Algarve Derby. Yeah, it's possible. He's staying behind for the Algarve Derby. <laughs> They'll fly him out on a PJ. That's a big win. You got to win that, no, man. He's going to fly out coach. He plays for Porto <laughs> Minas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, whatever, man. Let him just pretend, all right? All right. Japan can afford a PJ, you don't think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, could. yeah. The plane would be coming from Japan, not Porto Minas, right? Yeah. It's, you're bringing him to you. That's true. Porto yeah. Minas don't even want him to leave. They're like, we're not sending him. That's an expensive flight in itself. Yeah. <laughs> like, you want him? You come get him. That's probably like a week of his wages just flying him there. Mm-hmm. They're not paying for that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, friends. Uh, friends didn't, wasn't able to do it, but they were in Porto Minas's uh, stadium, so. You know, it's an away game. You would have liked to take a point there, but oh well, you know. I was like 30 minutes away. Yeah, they're in a good position, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're, not in, they're not in a bad position, France. France is up there, yeah. <laughs> it was a good atmosphere. People came out for the derby, look like. That's what's important. Bring the people together. Yeah. Uh, Casa Pia and Family Count go at it with a Chiki Chiquinho opening the scoring. Uh, Jander Cadiz would make it 2 nothing for the final score. Chiquinho at it again, man. Oh, this guy's on fire. Still going. Jander. Jander, yeah. Jander Cadiz. <laughs> what a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strange name. Uh, and then Sporting and Shavs have a romp in the swamp. Terrible conditions, man. That game was so rainy. Puddles. A little squishy. Yeah, a squishy, squishy game. <laughs> Where's the drainage system? There's no drainage system. <laughs> what are these guys doing? 
I it's 2024. Know. Even the fields beside our house growing up had a proper drainage system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Chavs, they ain't got no money. They're up no, there in the no. north. No. Just a soaked, soaked. They got pipe. guys with straws trying to suck the water <laughs> out of the grass, <laughs> of the soil. You know what they got, though? They got a mudder. They got Stephen Victoria. Guy loves the mud. Oh, loves. yeah. He got down and dirty in there. Yeah. <laughs> loves the slop. Uh, Two great blocks. Yeah, on. man. Goalie had a lot of work to do, too. Standing in the way of sport thing, Mr. Vittoria. Yeah, they were always going to break through, but uh, it seemed like. But Stephen Vittoria was there, you know, holding down the fort to get the second one. Right? Like, you got to get... He didn't even get up, but he repositioned himself, gave him the back. Yeah, you need a lot of stamina. You know what? I don't know if you guys ever played goalie before. It's one thing when you're like, say your team's doing good, you're just kind of like standing around, then like you're alone with your thoughts a little bit. You lose a little (laughs) bit of focus. The ball comes at you. It's like, okay, now you got to be engaged fully, full athletic ability. Right. It's It's tough. It's a mental position. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, he was making a lot of saves, this goalie, but he didn't look that comfortable. He looked kind of (laughs) sloppy. Just like the ground. So did the defense, though, yeah, too. There was yeah. a couple of the like, slop fest. They tried to clear it, but they weren't clearing it properly. Yeah. And then uh, I think the one of the breakthroughs was, or one of the almost breakthroughs was, the guy passed it back to his own goalie. He didn't take into account the slop. Nope. <laughs> it just rolled, and Pult gets a wide-open breakaway. Yeah. He fucking runs on it. Yeah. Pult goes in all on his own, and then the goalie comes up with another, like, crazy save. Mm-hmm. He was there when he was called upon, um, but yeah, that defender did not take into account that wet, wet, wet grass that just completely stopped the ball. And uh, he hit a puddle. Yeah, he, he hit, hit a, puddle. a puddle. The but pu- also, the puddle would have got the assist. <laughs> yeah, it but didn't look like he kicked it that hard, but yeah. it would carry on a regular grass. It would carry on go. a on a dry day. I th- that was enough. Yeah. yeah, but you've been playing in that game in that wet for almost like twenty minutes. Yeah, you can't trust the back pass in that. Condition. That's also, true because then you kick it too hard, it could fly. Right, you get a flyer. You, you kick it too hard back to your goalie. You don't know what could happen. Yeah, That's exactly. True. You got to recalibrate for the slop. <laughs> yeah. I would say not. E- don't even go back. Yeah, don't make that mm-hmm. move. But also, I mean, we just saw it with Galeno in the uh, the cup game. Both they could have just taken one more step, go to the side, get around the goalie. He's not, I wouldn't say Pote is on complete form. Pote is not as confident as maybe he has been in the past. It I seemed. mean, he's in pretty decent form, but I mean, maybe just that's not what comes to his mind. He's not a deking guy. He, he tucks. He's a tucker. <laughs> Lions ease in and score just before the half through Paulinho, followed by an in-the-box blast by Trincao, and then uh, Pote would dink one off the post. Dink. Yeah, or... Um, we were watching this because I watch, you know, I watched to see some failures. And then as soon as they got that one right before the half, I said, okay, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I should out. watch. I do have a podcast about this, but uh, <laughs> you know, don't have to. It's a long week. <laughs> yeah. What's your podcast called? I'll follow it. <laughs> <laughs> you have another podcast? Yeah, it's Shit. called uh, <laughs> Justin's Corner. <laughs> it's called Sporting Forever. Sporting Losing Forever. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, it, uh, it it was clear that they were going to score. They were peppering them. Like, they were just kept going yeah. and going and going. Yeah, and there's no way Shops was going to score. And then it just came off like a, a as it should. The first goal was going to be complete slop in the box. And uh, and uh, Turing Kamu makes hits a nice second, actually. Yeah. Boom. He slaps that. That was a good goal. And the box blast, one of our faves. Um, all right, moving on. Rio Ave had Benfica on the ropes, despite the 4-1 scoreline. Guga opens the scoring on his former club. Rafa would tee up Di Maria to even it up before the half. In the second, the fisherman would get a red card as their center back, Adelan Santos, gets a red for a little handball. Apparently blocked a pass. He did block a pass. That's a second yellow, and that's a red. It's not a second yellow, man. Just give a foul. No, just let it be a foul. Intentionally hit handball. Was it? He was gonna pass. The ball was gonna pass to him to a, a scoring player, a scoring position player. But he used his hand to stop it. it was he said, an "You're not getting past me." No, it was, it an, was accident. an accident. No, he, he reached it out. He, he put hand it. to ball. Actually, he gloved it. Uh, you put that in England, they won't even call that. They say play on is fine. Mm-hmm. They'll give a foul the other way. They'll give it to Rio Ave. <laughs> I, I will say in the beginning, uh, based off the highlights, uh, Rio I was really taking it to Benfica. They were giving it to him, and the the defense did not look very uh, solid today, or that day. No, yeah, Fuck. they came out flat-footed, man. Rio I was all over them. Yeah. You always hate to see that. 
not they're not coming out hard enough. I, you know, I want an early goal from Benfica. Yep, it didn't happen. Trubin saved their ass again. Bragger game, he, he did too. Like he's just making like these big saves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard your best defender was the post in that one. Yeah, they we all hit some posts too. Fucking hey, they kept smashing them off there. Even in the beginning of the second half too, they came out and had like some real came dangerous chances. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean. The defense is not solidified. Maybe the midfield is letting too many balls go past them. But either way, it's they're just getting lucky back there right now. Yeah. Guga's running that midfield. This, yep. this Ronaldo kid looks good. Fabio Ronaldo You is ever fantastic. heard of Ronaldo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to see that kinky celebration again. We, we missed out. Could have seen that kinky lion celebration. <laughs> right. Guys have to keep <laughs> shutting him down. Actually, today I was watching the Angola game, and the guy did that. He did like a lion thing. Yeah, very keeping kinky. it alive, dude. I I got I don't know if I should send to you guys this thing. This Angolan street soccer. You see yeah. these kids out on the streets of Angola? You it's, sent that, yeah, dude. It's like FIFA Street all over again, but like another yeah. level. They're doing this weird hop. They're just like gazelles out there. <laughs> it's crazy. I think they got the jinga. They got the yeah. Jinga. I think Angola stole the jinga from Brazil. They're the new Brazil. That'd be yeah, sick. Okay. All right. They're African Brazil. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how they, they do. They speak Afcon. Portuguese. Yeah. I sound crazy now. You wait a couple years, man. I'm telling you. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, bad. That, <laughs> well, you want, I want to talk about Benfica. You want to talk about Angola street soccer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, Di Maria goal was struck very nicely, and that the pass from Rafa wasn't even that great. Like it bobbled a bit, but he just he knows how to hit a ball. Like he can, you can give him the shittiest pass, and boom. He's practiced that shot a thousand times. Yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere too. Teed up on the left foot. Boom. We needed that. We need. Yeah, we just need that little uh, brilliance. And also to get like, Rio have like back. Like, hey, this isn't gonna be two nothing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. To be two nothing us. now you're now you're fucked, right? Yeah. Now you're kinda of fucked. Now you're like hoping for a draw. One one, okay, we're gonna win this game. Yeah. And so, that was it. And no no doubts from that point on. We're like, yeah, we're gonna win this. Yeah. Uh and then I mean, come on, talk about a a man on form. Hoffa is the Braga game into this game. My God, this man is playing the he's in the form of his life, I wanna say. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something about Contact. Saying sayonara, yeah. <laughs> he's like, this is, this is my uh, last dance, yeah. if you will. He wants to put pen to paper before January is done with a new team with a massive salary. Well, he has to. Yeah, yeah. he's already thinking about all like the Rolls Royces he's gonna buy, <laughs> and, like and the new house, all the pet jaguars, and leopards, <laughs> like the gazelles. Yes, the gazelles. <laughs> yeah, depending on where he goes. Yeah, oh, guys, I just remembered a crazy transfer that's happening. Tell us. Ricardo Koreshma to Besiktas. Oh, oh yeah. he's coming out of retirement to play with the Meester. He's coming home. That's crazy. <laughs> coming home to Besiktas. And it's um Fernando Santos is the yep. coach. Crazy. At 40 years old. I can't imagine that's going to go well for him. But he's coming no. back just like his hairline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. In style. Yeah. Him and Nanny running around in Turkey. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah. But okay. sorry, yeah, we okay, get back you, to I want to yeah, talk yeah. about Benfica. Oh, yeah, can we talk about, about Benfica? <laughs> you guys want to talk about Turkey or what? Uh, Mar- <laughs> Maratu again going forward. It's so bad. We really need this Fernandez guy like tomorrow <laughs> or yesterday, I should say. Yeah. I, I can't believe they're not getting a second guy for the other side because like I think he's just happy with Arsenis. He's like Arsenis, Arsenis is, is good. playing well. Yeah, yeah, he's and good backup I, for Ba. Like, I it's think not bad. They're expecting Ba to come back at some time this this. Uh, I forgot about Ba. This month, I'm yeah. sure they're end of the month. They're also expecting Neres to come back at some point. So yeah, yeah. Hopefully the team will be strengthened just by injuries, uh, uh, injury recoveries alone. They're so supposed to get um, Malheru from uh, Bovista, but Bovista is playing hardball. I think they want too much money. They want keep up in the price and Good. we're like well we don't need them we got archness yep that's what you have that's how you that's how you play hardball <laughs> yeah you and then maybe we'll they'll lower the price and we'll eventually get them at the end of the month exactly they've already said the number we're willing to pay but we are uh trying to get it down this yeah. is like a facebook marketplace uh, <laughs> sale right yeah. yeah you should see the chat they have yeah. <laughs> they're actually using facebook marketplace <laughs> Can you send me a picture of Kamal Hero? <laughs> it's just him standing there at the training ground. Nah, show me his muscles. <laughs> can you show me better quality can he, picture, can please? Can you take his shirt off? <laughs> I thought he was buffer. Yeah. We don't want a Cabral situation. There's a little <laughs> too much weight on him. What's the BMI on this guy? Yeah. So, uh, 
and there's a a play in the box to make it two one where it's already after the red card, so we only get the second after after the the guy goes out. Mm-hmm. I think we didn't even need the red card, but it definitely helped. I think you did. <laughs> yeah, I think you, yeah. I don't think this would have been at the most a draw if you guys didn't if they didn't get that red card. No way, they had so much time to keep pushing. You're right, they would have scored. <laughs> Yeah, Real Ave would have scored? Real Ave would have scored. Oh, yeah, they maybe. Would, they would have taken this game. Well, either way, uh, a ball bounces. Uh, Antonio Silva lets it get across himself and the defender. Lots and of lucky bounces. Just rips it. Boomba, yeah. In the box blast, Beautiful. as Chris would say. You should have yeah. heard my living room. I was going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was Big l- celebration. He does a knee slide. Oh, yeah. And then he does a celebration for blind people, you said? Yes, he did. He did. Yep. Him and John Neves covered their eyes. Yeah. It was dedicated to Very the, all the blind people watching. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys were saying, oh, that looks weird. They're covering their eyes. And we said, how are they supposed to do it? What are they supposed to do? Yeah. yeah I, I think know. I thought it was a good trip. I thought it was yeah. I, I mean, I, I thought it was you, little... No, you thought it was funny. I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> hey, we're at, it's not supposed to be funny. We're having conversations about it. They opened the dialogue. Yes. Blind soccer is a thing, exactly. man. People play blind soccer. There's soccer balls with... Um, sound. Yeah, sound in them. So that, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's actually really cool. So and you they can track it. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole thing. Like, um, Do they get to use a walking stick? Hey, no, what should do with the walking so. stick? <laughs> when, they take, when they take penalties, they'll knock... They'll have someone on each post, and they'll knock the post so they can hear where they are. Oh, is whoa. it like when you kick the ball, it has like a... Like it's got like a little thing that bounces around inside. So when okay, you dribble so it, it has like a ding, ding, so ding. You can like always ding, hear ding, where it is. Ding, yeah. Ding, ding. But then does it go louder? Like when you kick it harder? Probably. <sighs> so, it broke the- so then you can hear if it's a stonk. Yes. Yep. Can That's we pretty wicked. watch some blind soccer highlights after this? No, you can't watch it. <laughs> yeah, they're out there. <laughs> There's a whole, they program. Don't There's watch a whole it. program in Ontario. It's called. <laughs> you would put it on just a blank screen. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch it after. We'll get the highlights. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Antonio Silva blasts one in. And for a fucking defender, impressive shot, man. I mean, I, he's right in front of the net, but still, like, just Def- does all the work to get the shot and nails it. He's I've a s- big guy, man. Of course he has a hard shot. But hey. is it accurate? And this one was. I've seen older, more veteran defenders uh, miss shots like this. So, you know, he's a young guy. He's coming up. He's, uh, he's dialed in. Yep. So good for him. Yeah, he's you see the, with the ball. You see the ball drop to Antonio Silva. You're, you're not too confident. You think maybe he's going to shoot it into the stands. It's like Shaq at the boom. free throw. You're like, Ugh. I didn't even know it was him. I was like, what's he doing up that far? I say no. I, I say since he's been on this team, he scored goals. Yeah, he headers, is, right? He has done goals. He's yeah. A, yeah, he's a oh. high-scoring defender for his short time at the club so far. Absolutely. And he does it again, game-leading goal. And then... You know, they put on uh, Marcus Leonardo. They put on uh, Gavea, Tino, and Marcos Leonardo. Yep. Great, great subs. I thought Tino played amazing. He was winning so many balls in the midfield, starting attacks. That's. I think that's what we needed. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll start. Maybe we don't need someone who I've uh, been... You're a hater, man. Kokshu. He plays <laughs> so good, man. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. How do you not like this guy? He's just so good at doing passes forward, like through balls. He find, finds guys making runs. He's like to rap, but good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I know in the Braga game, he found Rafa there for that first goal. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I, it was my girlfriend's birthday. I was with her that afternoon. I did not see this game, but she did tell me the score twice, and she did say, Guga, like Lady Guga. Lady so that's Guga. something. Yep. Lady Guga, yeah. Wait, she, you intentionally were like, I'm going to hold off. I'm not going to check the game. I got I got other things to do. And she's she's ruining the score for you? No. Are you trying to watch it later? No. I'm with her, and I my phone is dead because uh, there's a problem with my phone. Mm-hmm. And I go, you have to look something up for me. Oh, okay. And then she tells me, Guga, Lady Guga is, has scored. Oh, funny, yeah. You know, Bar Isbell, you're two minutes down the street She's from Rosa Bronca. You just check back in. So yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom, run up the street. No, <laughs> take your, take your I leave. I was there at 1 p.m. on <laughs> <a> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Gavea looked pretty good. He really wanted to score. It looked like he, he had that uh, one he chance. He should have passed. Yeah. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know. Marcos Leonardo was kind of covered. There were a couple of defenders there. I say take the shot. Yeah, take the shot. Be a little more creative. Shot. Find the pass. 
we're mooshing at this point, man. Where there's like every second is a chance. There's yeah. a red yeah. card. And we're winning. Yeah, what do you call it? Mooshing? Yeah, what is that? They're mooshing, baby. What is that? I don't know, man. I've never heard they're mooshing. Mooshing sounds like you know when you're uh, you're really young, you're at a wedding. At the end of the wedding, you throw everything into one cup. <laughs> That's a moosh. That's yeah. a moosh. <laughs> yeah. What you try up? to get someone to drink it. You're like, drink this moosh. It's chocolate pudding and yeah. wine and coffee. Yep. Coca Cola. So he mooshed it. Yeah, and we mooshed it. Yeah. Marcos Leonardo, he he got his first goal debut. Beautiful. I will say, beautiful ball from Rafa to find Arsenal. Uh, find <laughs> Joel Mario. No, Arsenis. He finds Arsenis, Arsenis on the edge of the box and he pops it in for uh, Leonardo. Nice little, right. he does a little thing, a little trick, and little then he Jenga. passes it. Yeah. Almost went out. I was like, "This better count." Very close. But then I saw the replay. It was. It was still in. It was close though. Yeah. And, and then he goes to the. I don't. No one's ever done this before. I don't think. He grabs the little flag with the <laughs> Benfica badge. And yeah, he says, "Look at and this." And he points. And then he laughs a little. He says, "Look at this." <laughs> now, how much are you guys selling that corner flag for? Yeah, it's a famous corner flag now. Put yeah. that in the museum. Put Has that. anybody ever grabbed the corner flag and played guitar with it? Oh <laughs> yes, that's your celebration. That would be my. <laughs> And, and uh, Marcus Leonardo, famously, unlike the other Brazilian who we bought, um, scores in his debut. Yeah. And right There's, away is good. <laughs> yeah, it was a good header. Like, he fucking moved his whole body. Made it a strong header. Looks nice. yoked. He does look a little he's a, yoked. Yeah, he's a strong young man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he is the next Jonas. <laughs> and not, hey, uh, everyone keeps saying, uh, this guy's the next Jonas. This guy's the next Jonas. Yeah. Hey, let him be the next Marcos Leonardo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You're right. And then Rafa looks up. He's on another run because we're mush- mooshing at this You're point. Mooshing. Yeah, yeah. Mooshing. Every every Man second is a chance. Mooshing about. Rafa mooshing, looks up. Moosh is the sponsor on Brega's shirt. Oh. <laughs> so they were mooshing. They're mooshing. And Rafa looks up. He said he, he looks. He's like, how did you find him with that? Jean Mario. Dude, yeah. He looked up. He saw Jean Mario. He... Fucking did a crazy pass, thread the needle in between, outside the foot. Mm-hmm. Travella mm-hmm. pass, Travella as well. Boom. And right. in the, the first half, Joe Mario had a nice little chance side of the box. He moves it up, tries to chip the goalie there. Oh yeah, Joe Nevs makes a great run and then gives it to Joe Mario. Joe Mario like turns around, goes the other <laughs> way. Like, Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> he's I'm throw- leaving. He's throwing him off. <laughs> and then he does do a nice, pretty nice shot, like chip shot thing. Yeah, but the goalie managed to save it. I didn't yeah, think he had it in him. I don't think he could do that. <laughs> he could do that. That's, I've seen him do nice <laughs> shots like that. Yeah, that's the few, one of the few things he can do is like a shot, like a a little cool finesse pass, chip. right? Maybe a flick, but a run. Patrick said it's like when he does a run, it's usually just stopping. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all motion. We're all going we're towards motion, the net. Baby. Give it to Joel Mario. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ow, stop. Ow, 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 ow. I got <laughs> great lady. <laughs> it's a great lady. I gotta stop. Go back. Stop. Assess the situation. Three Let- defenders are on me right now. Yeah. I'm <laughs> fucked. I'm totally <laughs> fucked. <laughs> need- oh, this is what I love doing. Oh, and I think he's actually hurt out there. <laughs> <laughs> we need the defense to get back into play. We guys, gotta- guys, we gotta let him Come back on. into play. It's too. It's not fair if we're mooshing like this. <laughs> Have you we- guys ever played soccer before? We, we gotta get the defenders back on. <laughs> Yeah. At, at this point in the season, would you guys prefer Joao Mario to just be injured? No. He's playing better now. It's okay. not bad. Once Neris comes back in, though, I want Neris and De- De Mar- That's what I've always ever been wanted. Yes. Neris and Di Maria, but the defense won't it, it won't hold the defense, you know? They, both of them don't defend. Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. lazy going yeah. back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But two good mooshers. Yeah. Two good mooshers. If you're up and you got a red card, you're mooshing around, yeah, put them yeah, up there. You're mooshing, man, and then... Yeah. A tale of two halves, really. Mm-hmm. Fucking a nervy game at the beginning turns into a, a little red card for goal you guys. Goal yeah. Goal yeah. Yeah. If you're not a Benfica fan, a snoozer in the second half. <laughs> oh, no, it was the exciting Benfica chances. Hey, if you're a Benf- like I said, if you're a Benfica fan, right. sure. If you're a real fan, you're having the worst day of your life. Yeah, or if you're a neutral, like myself, I was like, I don't need to watch the rest of this game. I already know how it's going to end up. But right. when you're a neutral, don't you like seeing Mooshin? 
See, nah. I would say unexciting games, I, unexciting mooshers would, are Porto. They're I, just boring psh, to moosh. They I don't would, moosh. If no. Rio Ave, well. if Rio Ave was mooshing on you guys, I'd watch that all day. I, I guess I'm that's exciting a, for a neutral. A, yeah, I'm not a hater, but like they, they don't get those opportunities. Like you guys get those opportunities. They were getting those opportunities and then red card. Yeah, you should have watched this game. Yeah, because uh, I did. Rio Ave was did. mooshing. I did. I stopped it around halftime. Yeah. And Aziz is back. You guys Aziz hear about this? Aziz on Rio Ave. They put on Aziz. I was like, I haven't seen this guy in a year. <laughs> He's back, baby. That's exciting. See him score again. Maybe. See him bring his talents back to uh, North Beach there. <laughs> yeah, North Beach. Oh, yeah. North Beach. Um, all right. Porto come up huge against Braga with a 2-0 win. Cardozo opens the scoring with a set piece drilled in by Chico. Nice header there. Super free in the box. And then the second comes from an Evan Nielsen penalty. Uh, Sergio finally puts three up front to hold down the attacking. It was beautiful. I loved it. Chico, game of his life. He looked great out there. Uh, I think he won the penalty, too. He did. He did win the penalty. Yeah. Um, and they're. What do you guys think about the celebration they got? This kind of boy band pick with yeah, Chico, cool, Pep, yeah. Galeno, and Evan Nielsen. This is the second time they did this. They did this earlier I, in the I Estoril would say game it too. Goes a little harder than boy band. That's it, a little tougher than a boy band. No, it, it kind of does look like NSYNC or something. No, it kind of looks like a metal band or something. Metal band. Okay. I'd say it goes pretty hard. Yeah. I mean, it's a. If that's what they like doing. They got it down. They've done it's it twice something. now. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. something. It's something to talk cool. about. Cool. It's like organized. They're little. a crew. They're like the the Wolfpack NWO, maybe. Yeah. 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 Columbus crew. <laughs> Don't say that crew. <laughs> Actually, they're champions. We'll take it. Um, but yeah, look good. And I think now the more they do it, they got to cement that the fans want to see this, mm-hmm. and that Sergio has to play all four of them so that they can come together oh, like Voltron. You definitely That's, want all four of those guys yeah. on the pitch. Yeah. Mm. That's what I it want is. Them, I want them all on the pitch anyways. They're fantastic. I was watching this game on uh, Gold TV with Nino Torres. Oh, beautiful. The man was praising Chico. Like, he's like, this guy's the best player. He, he likes Chico, him. yeah. He, he loves He loves Chico. Yeah, man. But uh, I think that's their system. Saddest thing about all this is I think Eustachio's getting a little bit pushed out. We're playing Nico a bit more. And Nico is great. I love Nico, but Varela, I think, is a better holding midfielder, and Nico's a better forward player. It's a good think, combo, then. Yeah, but Yustakio is like in between the two of them. Mm. It's like if you can't have either of those guys, Yustakio does both their jobs. But if you want one guy to hold defense and one guy to do more attacking play, it's it's Varela and Nico. Yeah. And then Pep and Chico. If you're going to do both, you got to be box to box. You got to be aggressive. You got to have stamina, right? He's Yeah. But I think the, the new system that's in place, it's going to be uh, Varela, Nico, Pep in the middle, and then Chico, Galeno, Evan Nielsen. I think that's like actually the best midfield. Yeah, that forward. sounds good. That is like the best forward attacking line we have. I, th- I think uh, I think when those signings came in and they were getting more central defenders, it's always kind of be tough for you stack you to keep his place and mm-hmm. he i mean being your champions like especially he was actually oh, fantastic. doing very Scoring. well and maybe and it's it's a long season yeah. and i mean if sergio says we need to hang on to gonzalo borges and uh, franco's not going anywhere like i'm sh- i'm sure you stock is gonna be a huge part of the team and like yeah. god forbid anyone gets injured he's number one to be in that midfield yeah but it's just it's it's tough seeing him becoming less of the first choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like we said, there's Tasa it, games coming up. There's the other mm-hmm. Tasa, the Portugal. Oh, no, they're out. They're <laughs> out of Tasa de Liga, yeah. Tasa de Liga, they're uh, out. Tasa that, de Portugal, they're still in. But, yeah, there's going to be other games. There's going to be Champions League games, so they definitely need some rotation there. So I won't yeah. be too worried about that, but at, if you're saying the best lineup is, is Nico and Varela, then, then yeah, they should go with that. That's what it's looking like, but we'll they see. They should run with that. They're going to need the depth. For yeah. sure. Uh, but let's, uh, without glossing over, let's talk about Braga's week because they're the losing team in all this. They had to go into the Dragão and and try and get some points, which was always going to be tough for them because they're choking chokers and they've never done anything <laughs> against Porto hey. forever. <laughs> this whole so, week, wait, 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 let's rewind. Last Sunday, they played uh, Gima Range, mm-hmm. tied them last second, the João Mench stonk. Yep. Midweek Benfica. Yep. Last minute, uh, not last minute, but they lost with the Arsenal goal, 
And then they come to the Dragon, just the defeated, sad team. It's the toughest week in their season, hands yeah, down. Definitely. Three yeah, no. big games, huge games for them. They yeah. only want to play well against us. Okay, fine. Go lose against Porto 2-0 two e- two easily. <laughs> Maybe Fucking they were, dogs. They were tired by them. Oh, choking dogs. Don't take it personally. God damn it. <laughs> Do something. Do something against them, for fuck's you sake. You know what I said last yeah. week? Is that Joao Menj stonk is just going to ruin their entire year. And so far, I'm right. <laughs> it's only gone downhill since that goal. He put a curse on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they didn't really have too much. Horta was uh, pretty quiet. They don't got Bonza up top. I don't know. It's a lot, lot to ask of these guys right now. But they got to put it together. Uh, Europa's coming back. Yeah, they still got that, right? They got to play Quara bag. Maybe they're putting more eggs in that basket. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, come on. They better beat Quara bag. Yeah, they got to beat Quara bag. Um, but yeah, otherwise, good game. Huge for the table. Um, Did Gimme Range pass them? Gimme Range passed them. Wow. They beat uh, Aruka 2-1. The mullet derby. Ricardo Mangas and Matt. Teos Rocha, both with the sick flow there. Those look nice. They look nice wet, too. Yep. Mullet derby. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of mullets happening in Portugal right now. Wow, they're about uh, three years too late on that on that trend. I had that, I believe, th- <laughs> three years ago, didn't I? Oh. Yeah, they, theirs are like um, Portuguese mullets, like uh, tighter. A little Shorter. tighter than mine? Yeah. Okay. Yours is wild. Why can't mine be a yours Portuguese is, mullet? I'm a Portuguese man. I guess yours is Portuguese too. Yours is a Portuguese mullet. <laughs> and that mullet is pure determination. You know, you can't just get that. You can't just go to, uh, you know, the barber and be like, "Give me a crazy, intense Portuguese mullet." That's earned. You know, give give some respect to your brother. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a Portuguese mullet. <laughs> Thank you. Tor- Toronto Portuguese mullet. That's right. Portuguese Canadian mullet. That's what I am. Portuguese Canadian. Canadian Portuguese. <laughs> Um, and uh, Nuno Santos was playing very well yep. in this game. He had to leave Charlotte for reasons we will not discuss. <laughs> uh, sort of a spit row situation. It <laughs> uh, seemed like. Uh, we looked it up, uh, actually. He's, he today. was a DP in Charlotte. He was, maybe he got involved in some DP. I, it sounds like. Yeah. If you look it up, uh, I had nothing to really laugh about, apparently. It's, I didn't know uh, about this dark Apparently history. he had to leave. That's how bad it was. He had to leave, yeah. So. The con- controversy. Leave. You can go. You were very welcomed into Guimarães <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> yeah. The well, news didn't get there yet. No, yeah. No. Um, but Jason on Aruka opens up the scoring for the boys in yellow. Um, but it's the Silvas that do all the damage once again. Jota Silva and then Andre Silva. And yeah, Nuno Santos, he sets them both up. Yeah. And I thought this guy was Joel Wonder material, but apparently he says he's got this dark past. <laughs> we can't give it to a man no, who's we done oh, something like on. that. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh-huh. Uh, Ruka with several chances. At least two of them were offside. It's kind of sad to see. But they fought. They fought for it. That one was, it was a weird offside where the guy dummied it. Yeah. Yeah, he, that was bizarre because it's like, wouldn't you say that he played the ball so then it would be onside from where he played it? But he didn't play he didn't it. He didn't touch it. He didn't play it because it went through his legs. So yeah. he was offside on the original pass. But this is the so thing. Crazy. This is the thing. So, like, if it went the other way, you'd say that guy interfered with the play. Exactly. Right? But when it's for, when it's for the betterment of your own team and you're interfering with the play, then it's a problem? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I thought that, too. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought he's interfering the play, meaning that now we're going to we're gonna judge the pass from where it passed him. But no, we're not because he didn't touch it. Yeah, but but it's, it's, but it's, by the letter of the law, you didn't touch but it. But I, so. I understand it, too, because, like, you can just do this. You can just say, like, okay, have a guy way offside. Now just do a dummy through this guy. Right. You can, you can use that play as like a little cheat code but it's also it's like in this instant had he touched it it would have been a fair play true he just, just touched it a little bit like a little flick yeah. between little, his legs clink, little, clink. weird scenario there <laughs> alright tell us the table let's look at the table baby talk uh, of the table sporting still in first place by 1.43 had a Benfica uh, Porto sitting in third Third with 38 points. What is that? Four points off Benfica and five points off Sporting. Gima Range now in fourth and then Braga in sixth place. Wow. Yeah, I, it's taken this long. I, I would say like before the Christmas break, we said the fourth place is still in it. I would say 10 points off the lead, maybe not so much anymore. It would take a lot, but it, it's kind of a little less so. That, But yeah. They had a bad week. They're not mooshing. Nope. Not motion. 
Uh, Shav still at the bottom. The Zella right ahead of them. And then Rio Wav in 16th. Um, Last uh, place, just like their drainage system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll tell you what. Joe Vicente uh, or Rio Wav... To Boa Vista, ninth place is only five points. So a lot of those teams still in the mix. We even talk about France. France at 21 points. Everyone who's not the top five <laughs> or the top yeah, six, seven. You're not that far off. It's going to be a bar fight down there. Yeah. Relegation. Honestly, I feel like Gil Vicente is fucked. There is no team that I ever want to watch less than Gil Vicente <laughs> every weekend. There's a time in the day where it's like, oh, Jill Vicente is playing more than that. So I'm like, there's no part of me that wants to watch that. I think this week they played Amadora, and I was like, no, not ha- like not happening. No, that's a dead game. No one wants <laughs> to watch that. I tried for like five minutes, and I was like, hey, what else is on? Anything else, please. Bad vibes, eh? Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Long ball football might be covering that game. They do watch some of those. so It's <laughs> cool to get down and dirty into the, like the shit games. <laughs> yeah. Then watch that. That's Shash. why we love them. Well, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're big. You'll on, get down and dirty for sure. They're, they're big on Amadora, so they might cover it for that reason. But nice. um, they got Australia Amadora's got good vibes. They got cool jerseys. Yeah, cool part of Lisbon. Yep. Uh, another game we didn't talk about was uh, Bovista. They squashed Vizela four one. Had that crazy fucking goal from behind half. We have to talk about that game. It's a. It was a floater. It's a floater. Not a stonk for all that you all you that are new to the show and you don't know what a stonk is yet. That's not a stonk. You think it's a crazy shot from far away, which you, is what which a stonk is. You can have a crazy shot from far away if you're Clarence Sadorf and yep. it has a good trajectory, but yep. that's a stonk. Yeah. I think once you get, you know, forty meters into the air and it has to come up and then and then dip back down. down. Well, no. it's very it's very onomatopoeia esque. You can you can tell what a stonk is by just <laughs> saying the word stonk, right? You know what a stonk is. I Hear can I word. can I can see the goal when yeah. you say that word. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, but that doesn't take anything away from this goal. I mean, he had to set up the free kick. First off, the cameraman wasn't even ready for this. Nobody was. <laughs> Nobody or the, was ready. the director of the TV show. No, the director of the show wasn't ready for it. The Portuguese league is trash at this. Sport TV is always trying to show you a replay of nothing, <laughs> and they don't, they missed it. And so he has it ready. He's, he sets it up. He sees the goalie out, which is amazing. That's what you have to the goalie do. Goalie was way out, top of his crease. And then look at the net, and then pick your spot at the net, and then hit and the th- net. And then you go... I can do that. Yep. <laughs> but you got to think about all that real quick and then make it happen. Yeah. I think it's a little, it's slightly less impressive than like a Beckham one, which is like during the run of play. You know what I mean? Where you catch, the, mm-hmm. the play is going on and you have to catch the goalie out and the ball's moving and the players are playing. And then, but free kick is like dead ball situation. It's down there. You got to look up. You got to hit it. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of both, like, Beckham and this guy at the same time. And, like, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. That's a, that's a weird argument. Okay. <laughs> both, put put yourself in those boots. Both goalies are not expecting it, right? Obviously. Yeah. It's also kind of cool when the goalie is trying to keep it out, his best to keep it out, and his best is not good enough. He just taps it, and he's, like, a fingertips, pathetic, a yeah, pathetic yeah. fingertip. And running backwards. In. Yeah, running backwards. It, what's the like other sport equivalent of like? Is that like getting dunked on or like that is like yeah like getting it's dunked kind of on. embarrassing. I would say like maybe in basketball like when it's like a throw in from like around half and they're like throw it in like an alley oop on them or something. I don't know. It's it's just a it's just a great play and, and I love it so much and, yeah. I, and I have <laughs> I to love I just love it I just yeah. love how that happened in the Portuguese league and but those guys those don't get nominated for goal of the year anymore. Because I guess they happen so often. Too mm-hmm. many goalies are standing too far away from the net. Yeah. What? Are th- what's the argument? It's like, oh, that's just poor goaltending. Maybe, yeah. Could be that. Yeah. What if he did it and it was a Rabona? Then, <laughs> <laughs> then you're getting a goal. And also... And you're getting a Puskas? Puskas, nominated for the Puskas, Fernando Santos. Did he win? I don't Nuno know. Santos. Nuno Santos. Nuno no, Santos. he didn't. He lost ah. to that bicycle kick outside the... Uh, Outside the box. Oh, as he should. And then we also have this uh, free kick from the second division. Ah, that's oh, old Nene, legend, yeah. Nene, old man Nene. Okay, this is a stonk. Uh, it's got some dip on it, let's, too. Let's say it. 
Let's see. This is a good angle. He just smacked. He slapped. Stunk. Uh, I say this yeah, is a stunk. stunk. Yeah. Yeah. It dips that. a little bit, but it has good trajectory. Uh, look, it's a floater. No, no. You no. even have to look at the player. Well, first of all, that's a second division goal, goalkeeping. You should have had that. <laughs> yeah. But look at look at the player. Look at his, his body formation, how he kicked it. He just kicked, put his foot right through that. Was, that's Yeah, good technique. That's a Janino. That's a stunk for me. Oh, yeah. That brought me back to Janino days. But it, we must note that on Sporting, uh, for Sporting Nuno Sanch, his goal, it was recreated in cartoon version. And everyone on Twitter n- noticed and mentioned that even in this cartoon version that FIFA drew for this mm-hmm. uh, re, uh, what do you call it, retelling of Re-mushing, the goal, yeah. re-imagining re-im- of the goal, uh, they still created his uh, cartoon bald spot of his head. <laughs> oh, they drew yeah. his bald spot. Rightfully so, yeah. <laughs> it looks <laughs> worse when you draw it. You didn't have to draw it. No. Yeah. Just make put a hair there. Who cares? It's a cartoon. <laughs> they didn't have to try it. <laughs> they want it to look kind of real. Accurate. Savage. Yes. yes. Savages FIFA. These people are still about accuracy. <laughs> and please, let's respect that. Respect the artist. Yes. Too, yeah. Yes. FIFA's worried about accuracy and they gave Messi the 2023 play, World Player of the oh Year. Oh, my God. God. And they're worried about accuracy. They couldn't get, draw this man a bald spot. <laughs> he fucking won the World Cup in 2022, and they're still giving him the best player of 2023. Yeah. What did he do? He went to Inter Miami. And was injured for half the time. Well, I'm telling you, because they gave. that's why they re... They rehashed the lines to give it before the World yeah. Cup, so Benzema couldn't win it that year. It was really weird what they did Terrible. There. Terrible. Terrible. I wonder if he even wipes his own ass or if FIFA's just there ready with the toilet paper. Oh, oh, disgusting. Yeah. I'm, sure <laughs> he he says, I'm sure he's like you and uses a bidet. I saw a thing on um, Instagram. There's an interview. He said he pees sitting down. Yes, I've seen this. The fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, some people do that. A lot of, a lot do you? of men no. do this now. <laughs> yeah. Why? Real men don't. Just stand up. Whip your dick out and stand up. <laughs> Start your, peeing. Man, fucking aim. People oh. say that. There's so, so many steps. You got to pull your pants below your ass. <laughs> sit down. Tuck your penis and pee <laughs> right into the bowl. It's right like two me- two centimeters away. You need splash bag. splash bag on your you asshole. Worry about splash bag? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Piss all over. Piss all say, over. I swear to God, if you're listening to this and you pee sitting down, turn <laughs> off this podcast. We don't want you as a yes, follower. I don't want you fucking listening to this. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you people? And then what if you tuck? Then you got to redo a full tuck. Tuck. Oh, you're tucking your shirt. Tuck your shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're in the tuck episode. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> tuck. All right, what let's are you move tucking? on to England. Uh, Newcastle almost got the better of Manchester City until the introduction of KDB. With his nice long hair, he would bang one in right away and then set up Oscar Bob for the winner. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Porto fans all over the internet coming out saying, we almost had Oscar Bob. He wanted to play for Porto. Stories that his family moved to Porto when he was young, and I think he trained with the academy for a bit. Wow, and the biggest thing that's ever happened to Porto. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oscar we, Bob. We almost got Oscar Bob. <laughs> Oscar he's Bob a, almost played for us. He's a prodigy, and he was supposed to be a Porto player, but wow. ended up in Manchester City somehow. I, I guess don't know. Claim I, to fame right there. I guess no one comes out of that academy anymore. Right? That hey, yeah. one. Uh, but yeah, nice winner, and Bernardo stealing the show with that opening flick. It was nice, but big freaking deal. Didn't Arthur Kerbal do this the other day? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. flicks are getting more and more common. I mean, when As Ronaldo did it those first few times, I was like, wow, blown away. But now it feels like it feels like the goal in hockey where the guy puts it through his legs and yeah. goes up. And it's like sometimes that is the best way to score that goal. You have to do it to get the angle right, right? Yeah. And well, it's sort of the same thing with the flick. Is like he it's coming right at any, you. He could have scored it any other way. Yeah. He had to well, do it like let's, that. Well, let's take two things into consideration here. Opposite foot and no look. Mm-hmm. So no give look. the man some credit. He looks back after and sees it. Yeah, going. yeah. But when he flicked it, he wasn't. He kept looking forward. Yeah. Well, you can't. You have to be looking at the ball at least. Like you can't be <laughs> looking at the net when you flick it to a direction that's not there. Yeah, right? it has to be like a no look <laughs> thing. Yeah. But it was sexy. I don't know. I do yeah. agree that like it was it nice. Was. It was a nice goal. And it was nice to celebrate Bernardo. But at the same time, I was like, this happens all the time. It's not fucking. It's not blowing my brain. You know. Like it's no. a, it was a nice goal, but it's not like the craziest thing that yeah, happened. I think it's more big because it's done in the Premier League, and yeah, yeah it's class. It's, everyone sees it. I'm sure it was goal. Of the Nobody week sees in the co- what Cabral does. <laughs> <laughs> it was class. It was yeah. class. 
Um, but and Ke- Bernardo is class, and Bernardo and Ruben Diaz made the FIFA World Eleven team of oh. the year. Yeah, they should. did. Champions League winners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but KDB back picks that corner, low shot, just rolls it in. And Justin, you and I were talking. We we're like, why do we hate this guy? Hate him. Always um, hated him. Too. Never liked him. He has a hateable face. Yeah. Great hair now, though. Good flow. Yeah, he does have good hair. <laughs> And yeah, he does have good skills. He's like a. Just don't like him. I don't like him either. We don't like Belgians. He's a Belgian ginge, and he's kind of like he's I uppity. Said, I thought they said Melvin for a second. <laughs> we don't like Melvin. <laughs> he's uppity. He got cucked by Courtois, and uh, he's just like he's a little baby too. Yeah, yeah. He's not cool, really. No, he's not likable. And it's hard that there's the Bruno debate, and it's like, it's not even that Bruno's, like, crushing it all the time, but it's just, like, when he does really well, and you're like, yeah, fuck KDB, and you're like, why? It's like, I don't know. Just, I'd rather have Bruno than KDB. Both kind of wankers. To yeah, me. Bruno's <laughs> got his own set of problems as well. <laughs> yeah. Even as a Portuguese guy, I'm still like, I still don't love this guy. Yeah, man. no one's crazy about him. Probably the most disliked Portuguese player. But you, you know think? what? When he, when he plays on Portugal, he's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, like that's where he's supposed to be. All yeah, the time. yeah. He's one of those international. He's, he's finally players. figured it out too. He's a Lukas Podolski kind Podolsky. of guy. Oh, you know? Don't put that evil on him. But I'm just saying, Podolski always shows up for Germany, and then on his club team, he's like whatever. Yeah. Oh, Bruno's still good for United. Speaking but of, it's United. Speaking of, United play Spurs two two draw. Bruno gets the hockey assist for United's goal. He did beautifully put this ball into the box. Rashford runs in, doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and then the ball falls to Hoyland's feet, and he does it. Um, I have Rashford, he, Rashford would score their second goal, and there were still so many times where this man would just dribble into nothing or nowhere or lose the ball. I'm like, why does this club try so hard with this guy still? You think he's Asford? I don't <laughs> Yeah. Hometown guess, boy, that's why. Something's not working. Him, Martial. Greenwood, uh, Ooh, Sancho. Oh, 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 I know where you're going. Sancho. They're all the same guy. They're all just like mid. Yeah. They're all mid. Wingers. Yeah. They're, they're all just okay. They had their mids. moments, but I don't know. I think you Sancho's good. He just has to apologize more. <laughs> just got to work on his I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, could be that. I don't know. It's just the, like the early promise and they had their moment, but yeah, it's just not clicking anymore. I don't know. I don't think uh, when Mourinho did the interview on John Obi Mikel's show, I, he said there are players that I was managing that said you you cannot win with these guys, and they are still on the team. Ooh. I bet Martial was one of them. I don't think Martial Rashford barely maybe play, knows. Martial barely plays. He's still now. on the team. Yeah, he's, he's still, still on the payroll. <laughs> it's not their first choice. They tried to loan him off and pawn him off somewhere, but and the, nobody wanted him. <laughs> no, he went to Sevilla for a season. But again, it's one of those things where it's like you, United's biggest fault is that they pay their players way too much, way too fast, and then they can't offload them because why would they want to leave the team when yeah. they can just stay, do nothing, and make six times as much money? That's so true. Yeah. And then, and also, another team wants to take them on loan and they say, well, man, you, you got to pay for at least half of this or yeah. whatever. And they're like, well, why are we going to pay for half to play somewhere else? Well, you you put yourself in this corner, you know? Yeah. You signed that contract for them and this is what's up now. Yeah. Great game. Exciting game. Bentoncourt, nice goal. Uh, Timo Werner debuted. I'll tell you what about Bentoncourt. I didn't know he could do that. Yeah. I thought this guy was like a jobber, like a <laughs> like a jabroni guy that uh, that Cristiano Ronaldo was forced to play with. <laughs> when Cristiano Ronaldo was forced to play with like him, Rabio, and thing, I'm like, Chris, you got to get off this team. These no, guys are Juve. terrible. Yeah. They're bringing you down. Kulusevski, Kulusevski, and now all these guys are playing in the Premier League and mostly for Spurs. Yep. <laughs> and you know what? There's something about the Juventus players, and they come to Spurs, and then they play well. The, at the beginning. I don't think I don't think Spurs fans are really happy with Kulusevski anymore, but yeah, he's no, dropped no, off. Big no, time. they, they yeah. like him. He's he's injured right now. They do like him though. He's he's a big part of the squad. Well, no, last last game we watched with our Korean friend, Son, uh, our Son. Sonny friend, Sonny friend. <laughs> he said he said no, this guy's oh. he's toast. Toast. And that guy's a reputable source for Tottenham. I get all my Tottenham <laughs> news from he him. He watches every game, every minute he's, of every game. He's so. been to games. Yeah. Okay. Daniel. He's, he's in the little Korea corner cheering on Sun there. 
I'm just saying. With the flag. He flies in. Just checking sources, because when I bring up my sources, there are no <laughs> Oh, good, yours but- are bums that you meet at the bar. <laughs> no, they're not bums. They're good friends of mine that watch every game and have seen Liverpool live. Ooh. Uh, uh, Justin calls them bums. <laughs> <laughs> I never call anyone bums. I call them unhoused people. <laughs> okay, well, this is what I think of your source. Um, Barflies is what I say. But yeah, pretty interesting game, 2-2. Mid-off, I guess. Uh, mid-off. Yes, <laughs> mid-off. That's right. Poro uh, played well, right? Poro did play well. Um, He's a guy we know. Poro played well. Dello played well. But we must, must mention Onana. Onana. Why was he there? <laughs> When Cameroon could have used him for AFCON. And AFCON then he got on, on a PJ, right? He got on the straight to the PJ, yeah. But also it's like... There's a picture of him after the game's done. He's like, oh, oh, all tired and whatever, disgruntled. And then, like, that's at 6.30 p.m. 11 p.m., smiley face on the PJ. Sign <laughs> <laughs> to AFCON. But also, man, for Champagne. AFCON, and it's like, even with uh, the Asia Cup... Group stages are not that crazy. Like, all the big teams, especially, like, Onana plays for Cameroon, like, they'll get out of the group. They'll be fine. They just need him for... Dude, AFCON's been pretty fun. No, the, it's, I'm not saying... The Portuguese-speaking teams have done well. I'm not saying it's a bad tournament by any means. I'm just saying, like, the bigger teams in the group stages will be okay. You know? Like, Cameroon will make it out of the group stage, and it's like, if Onana misses the first group stage game, they'll make it through. Every tournament... I don't know. Every tournament, a big team always drops off in the group stage, and you yeah. just you don't want it to be you, yeah. you know? Ghana lost to Cape Verde. You got to make sure it's Ooh. not you. Who'd, um, who'd Egypt play? Uh, Mozambique, was uh, it? Uh, <laughs> I think it was Mozambique. Uh, the classic Portuguese guy sound of, <laughs> like, stalling. Uh, 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 Mozambique. Uh, Mozambique, yeah. Mozambique, yeah. Mozambique, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Shh, shh. They almost beat them. They yeah, were winning 2-1. Two, two, yeah, I was watching the first half, and like they were defending well, holding them off. They Salah were, scored uh, a penalty late in the game. I'll tell you what. Patrick has Fubo and Tubi. <laughs> and so Patrick <laughs> have two. Patrick has two. <laughs> Everyone has Tubi. It's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> it's Fubo free. and Tubi. So I do have two. <laughs> yes, you have Fubo and Tubi, as Cat Williams said. And Patrick's been watching a lot of freaking AFCON. Every time I, I just pop, throw it on because it, it's just I have Fubo. So every I just put time it on. I yeah. pop into the living room, oh, he's watching Fubo? AFCON. Yeah. Suck. And you know what's weird? It, uh, it's on BN Sports. They just stream the channel. Yeah. Uh, they put commercials in it. Oh, shit. Like the ball goes out of bounds or something. They start playing a commercial. But they keep P&P, right? Picture in picture? No. No. It <laughs> <laughs> just got scared. No. Here's a four-second commercial. Bam. Yeah. Oh. It's a, Actually, I think... Like, I almost missed a goal one time because they were playing a commercial. <laughs> God That's damn. terrible. That's awful. And Mozambique have Bruno Longo, who plays for Shavs. Yeah. Probably why they why Sporting won. These teams are boys in Africa. They have uh, some players there in the Portuguese yeah. League. There's a lot of Portuguese players out there. I can't believe. Do you think there will be a day in English Premier League? Don't say it. <laughs> where you have no idea what he's going to say. There will be a throw-in, and they're going to have to wait 30 seconds to take the throw-in so they can play an ad? In, no. No, in the 2010 World Cup, they tried this, and England's first goal was they did a commercial break and then they came back from commercial and England was celebrating and I think after that they're like never ever again. Wow. Like people lost their shit. People Ooh. would, yeah. Yeah. But what do they what if the companies take over, what are you going to do? Not watch? Know. We have all, like, we've already proven that we will watch no matter what. We love yeah. the game so much we'll just keep watching. But it's like watching F1 on TSN where they just do picture in picture and then I'm like this sucks. Right. Like, yeah. you you miss out on so much just because it's, like, you need the announcers. The announcers are, like... They change the sound. They yeah. make the race. They're That's explaining what you're watching. everything. Yeah. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oscar Piastri. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> look at him press otherwise, on this for F- pedal. Honestly, for F1, if, you, if you're not, you're just watching a car driving. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, if, the, if the guy's not explaining what this is, you're, like, kind of like, oh, this is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but back to that Mozambique game, Salah scores the penalty to tie the game. The man finally cut his hair. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't look like a bum anymore. Cut his fucking hair. Excuse he looks me. Great. Hey, <laughs> Unhoused. Person. Sorry. Unhoused. Yeah, he looks great. He looks reinvigorated. And I think he needed that to jump into AFCON. Disagree. I like the way he looks all like crazy, psycho man. Like, Crusty what? the clown? Yep. Psycho Sala. Guess can say. He looks like a guy you you see this guy in a in a dark alley, 
you're scared. You are <laughs> frightened for your life, <laughs> right? Man look. You see this guy coming in on the wing? Ugh, I'm scared. <laughs> now he's got a cute little haircut. You're like, I'll take this guy. He's a day. cutie now. No, it was kind of. It was getting sideshow Bob. Are you scared of sideshow Bob? Are you scared of Phil Fellini? I Bart, don't know. Bart is scared of sideshow Bob. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sure. <laughs> if I'm Bart out there on the field, I'd be very scared. And yeah. most of those, most of those footballers do have like a Bart Simpson esque haircut, like kind of a faux hawk kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. Shaved sides, shaved sides, top. high up, yeah. high top. True. Go on. Have All we right. done enough nonsense on the English <laughs> Premier League? Yeah. Or do we got to keep so. going. Well, we're talking ah, about Afcon now. <laughs> okay, we're jumping around. Uh, Fulham lose twice this week. Uh, one nothing to Chelsea midweek and in the EFL Cup, and then uh, Liverpool two one. Yeah, how's Liverpool's week? Not bad. They won. I mean, they're they're missing a couple key players because of the uh, Afcon situation and AsiaCon and AsiaCon <laughs> and Comic Con. But uh, <laughs> you know, who's going to Comic Con? Which of the guys are going to Comic Con? <laughs> How many games I have to miss for that? <laughs> a couple guys. You they go. They got to dress up, do things. <laughs> See, yeah. Jota started. <laughs> Jota started this Fulham game. Yep. Terrible rating on Fought Mob. Didn't watch the game, but had a bad rating. He started the game, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is he only a super sub? I mean, you're rating him. You're saying he had a bad game because he didn't score a goal. No, I'm rating. It's Fought Mob rates him on his statistical analysis on his past completion. It's stats. And, it's science. Yeah, it's science, Chris. Is it science? Scientifically, yeah. Okay, well, the guy's not perfect. Nobody's perfect every <laughs> single fucking game. But the stats don't tell the tale Cons- of the game. I would say, considering the amount of time the guy has played and the amount of goals he scored, goals per minute, the guy's doing pretty fucking good this year. As long as you're scoring, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? So, for him to play one game and, and yeah. Hey, Juan Paulina is out there. He's just crushing everyone. Yeah. Yeah, but he's losing. So what yeah. the hell does that mean? It's like good. Oh yeah, you got a nine point nine on Fought Mob or whatever the <laughs> fuck you guys are watching. Yeah, right. Fart, fart. Yeah. Oh great, you got a nine and a nine and three thirds on Fought Mob, but like <laughs> your team fucking lost. At least the guy's winning. That's, well, he's got to go to a team that wins. Yeah, he can't do everything himself. Well, just saying. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, Jota. Uh, He's going to have to step up now that Salah is going to be gone for a little bit. So he's going to get some more time and he's going to start, which do you think is a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's good. I like him on the field. I mean, there's a lot of other uh, attacking sources for Liverpool. I mean, uh, Cody Gakpo, the guy's been kind of a ghost. I'd like right. to see him kind of step up. Uh, Darwin, uh, kudos to him. He's like an assist machine. Like I Darwin, never thought right? I would ever mm-hmm. say that, but uh, he seems to have like, you know, uh, have a second sense to uh, pass because the beginning of the season he was just like goal hungry and you know the s- greatest player on that team, Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz, he's, I, if he's not pro- like he is scoring, but like not as much as we all kind of thought. So this start, month, so. this month it's going to be if you're very interested mm-hmm. in Portuguese league. I mean, most p- people aren't like once they leave the league, it's like whatever. But it's going to be Luis Diaz, Darwin, and uh, and Jota up front. Yeah. Yes, all so, ex uh, Premier League players, right? Yeah. So there's something about when a team is down players and they have to like use subs and shit that it's like it just brings out a different team and a different fight. And I feel like a lot of it with Toronto sports I've noticed over the years too when it's like Raptors get a big injury and Leafs and it's like the guys that are just still around to like. Pick up the slap. Start. Pick up the slop. Slack. Slack. Slop. Pick up the slop. Slack. He, Slack. he wants to stick with slop, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they start creating their own chemistry, and then the star players come back, and they're like, "I don't know how to put this guy back in." Yeah, they were. Yeah, we had that when uh, Lowry was injured. Yeah, with the Raptors a couple years back. But well, are you are you are you hoping for Egypt to go out early? Mm, I would be. They got Portuguese. I absolutely they would got be. Portuguese management down there. Oh <laughs> yeah. Who is it? I think it's Vitoria. Yeah, it is. And then the P- old, hey. Piero is, I think, at uh, Nigeria. Yep. Well, I'll put it this way. I don't think uh, Egypt's going to go out early because they won the last AFCON. Oh, and they're fantastic. They're one of the they're best a, teams They're there. a great team. So, like, already in my books, I'm like, I'm not expecting them to go out. I'm expecting to not have Salah for a month. Well, I'm expecting Mozambique and Cape Verde to make it through that group. Okay, well, that'd and be great. Egypt. That'd be great, and I wouldn't <laughs> be mad if that happened. But I... You know, let's be real here. I think Egypt's going to go through. And uh, barring the next game against, I think they play Arsenal. They have to play Arsenal in a Premier League match. Holy shit. So, yeah, I believe so. Or maybe it's for a cup. 
No, I think it's I think the, it's a Premier League. They've match. already played for. Yeah, the we cup. lost in the cup. So they lost in the cup. So the next the Arsenal they have to play a Premier League match. Other than that game, I think we're playing a lot of lower table teams. Like the next five games, it's mostly lower table teams except for Arsenal. So if they could even get some points against Arsenal, I mean, I think they could still win. To be honest, yeah, but Arsenal's not a Ars- problem for Liverpool. Arsenal's not. Playing that great right now either. So yeah. if they can beat Arsenal without Salah, I'm Arsenal gonna feel had pretty a, good. A big yeah. grit, uh, break. They two weeks off. They went to Dubai. Yeah. They play. They play the Arsenal train. February fourth. Yeah. But so, okay. let's, let's look at the schedule. Burnmouth, Fulham, Norwich, Chelsea, Liverpool, or uh, Arsenal. Sorry. Yeah. So Chelsea, Arsenal, back to back at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm not worried about Chelsea. To be honest, <laughs> no one is. <laughs> so. They don't got an Oscar I'm more Bob. worried about Fulham than I am Chelsea, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know who I'd be worried about? I mean, City's right back in this thing. And now so it's City, Arsenal, and Liverpool, kind of a three-horse race, much like we have hey, in Portugal hey, right Aston now. Aston Villa. Don't forget Aston Villa. Villa just lost to Everton. They're right there, Yeah, man. but they're right there, man. Arsenal, yeah, if Arsenal but Everton if, isn't. As well as Spurs. <laughs> wild. Everton are looking cool. They have that uh, Onana guy that's fucking wild. He's Another Onana. Oh. That guy does, was not on a PJ. No. He's doing really good. Um, in Italy, Mourinho loses to Lazio in the Coppa Italia. His derby record in Italy is bad. He can't beat Lazio, which is really? not good for the people there. They're not happy with that. But yeah, this is a... I mean, yeah, you definitely want to be beating them, but at the same time, they're facing a tough Lazio. This is a Lazio that's on the come up, but this is a strong Lazio mm-hmm. that they have to keep facing and... But Maurizio Sarri, he's a born loser. <laughs> this guy sucks. He has uh, Sarri in his name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking joke. Uh, after the game, uh, Sarri did say that he was happy to beat Roma, but he thinks the Coppa Italia is a rigged competition, and he does not care for it. Wow. Ooh. What a weird thing to say. I think the... Is it weird? The top eight teams get a bye, like, right to the quarters or oh, the, the round see. of 16 or something. So he's like, he's like, fuck this competition. It's bullshit. That is pretty stupid. Yeah. Did he do a rant like Darko, the Raptors coach? <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know. Honestly, I didn't know the Raptors coach's name before that. <laughs> and then he did that, and now I know him, and now I love him. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Passionate rant. I was like, that guy should coach TFC. He <laughs> should. <laughs> he's got passion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then on the weekend, AC Milan beat Roma 3-1. So, uh, tough week for Mourinho. Tough week for Mourinho. Tough week for Renato Sanchez. They're trying to ship him off to Turkey. Roma's looking for the right fit, but at the same time, they don't want him back. I mean, he's been hurt for the majority of the time that they had him, and he's on loan for PSG. It's really PSG, mm-hmm. actually, who's looking for it. Sorry, not Roma. Yeah. PSG is looking for a, well, a good spot. He's not doing him. shit at Roma, so <laughs> I'm sure they're happy to get another spot and free. And PSG said they don't want him back. Yeah. yeah. The, the Lille to PSG move was weird. That was he should have done that. Yeah. He's um, cursed since then. Roma's uh, Portuguese sporting director is also gone because of that uh, the tax law. Because mm. he's like, how are we going to sign players now? No one's going to going to want to come here. Mm. So everyone's going to be out of Italy. Uh, and then also, this was one of the first games that Patricio was dropped from the, the Roma squad. Well, that's why they lost. <laughs> yeah. Well. So who played Svilar? He's their backup, isn't he? It's one of the first times in like a big game that Mourinho dropped Patricio. So. Not looking good for him either. He's done. Up you should to go to Unaliria. That's where he's from. Mm. Mm. Or Besiktas. Filar did play. Yep. He's the starter wow. now. Milos. He just got dropped. Milos. He just got put three goals on his ass, though. Shit. Yeah. You know what? I'm happy. Hey, we were all, as Benficistas, we're always waiting for it. When's VR's time going to come? When's VR's time <laughs> to come? We gave it's up on come. It. We say, you know what? We got Trubin. <laughs> Trubin's we the ever. truth. Do we ever? <laughs> we do. We do ever. What a uh, guy, man. Uh, in Lille, they beat Lorient 3 nothing. Joe David scores again, and it was his birthday. Epa, this guy. Yeah, still going. Uh, our right back, Thiago Santos, would get an assist that game and have a great performance. And also, Thiago, Thiago Jalo pretty much confirmed yep. to Juve. I think yeah. he was announced today. Fantastic. And it's one, of, it's one of those moves where you're like, I don't even know the Juventus defenders right now, so hopefully he just walks right in there and can <laughs> fucking get a spot. Probably three at the back. That's what Italian teams do, right? Yeah. yeah. And he uh, he knows Ital Pasta. He knows Ital before. He played on Milan. He came up through their system. So. Fucking hey, let's do he it. He knows Ital Pasta. Yeah, he knows how he knows Ital Pasta. Do you think in Italy they eat Ital Pasta? No. Hey, bada boom, oh, bada bing. They don't. Ital Pasta, the taste you'll savor tonight. 
You gotta taste it. Open up your mouth. Give yourself some flavor. Is that Bargnani? No, he had a different. <laughs> That's commercial. That's no, Bargnani, Bargnani did do a deal. Primo, pasta oh, and primo. sauce. <laughs> All right, moving on to Spain, El Clasico in Saudi Arabia. Uh, they had the Super Cup España finals. Uh, Vinny hits two early goals, and he hits a zoom Zoom. to rub it in Barca's face. He would eventually get a hat trick and win 4-1. Lewandowski smashes one in from top of the box. That was a nice goal. Uh, Felix would get half an hour to run around. Mm, Cool. And uh, Ronaldo there in the attendance. Deco says, because uh, Deco is sporting director of Barcelona, yep. we don't have money to sign players. So I don't know if Felix will stay at the end of this year, but they say they have no money for him. I think Chavi doesn't love him anymore either. He doesn't start him. Yeah, he's yeah. out of love for him. He yeah, likes he's a lot of love. He he's likes no Yamin Yamin Laval. Yamin But um, yeah, and then obviously this game didn't go well for them, but they got to the final of the Super Copa. Or why they do it like this, I don't know. It's like a little tournament now. Instead of yeah. just being the, the first and the second, now they do a little tournament so they can make more money, more yeah. games. The previous more, game... More Saudi stuff. So yeah. Saudi. The previous game was uh, the Madrid derby for like the semifinals, and it was like a 5-3 game. It was wild. Hmm. Ah, yes. Well, while we're on the topic, I have a question for you guys. Sure. Uh, I was having this conversation <laughs> with my girlfriend today. She said she doesn't like her middle name. She wants to change it. Her middle name is Sue. I said, you're Portuguese. That's such a cool Portuguese name. Yep. You have the... Ronaldo Celebration is your middle name. <laughs> Sue. It's Sue. It's not Susan or Suzanne. Or it's just Sue. I was like, that's fucking cool. You S-U-E? should never... S-U-E. I was like... You can't change that. No, I think I've never name. heard of someone trying Why to change we, their middle name. <laughs> I, yeah, I I don't like well, mine either. Well, <laughs> like, well, not a lot. It of never people, it never comes up. Nobody like, loves their middle name, right? But like, if you think about middle, it, you can change it. It's not even on a lot of my documents. It's just like if she's a Zorian, one. how many middle names does she have? She's got to have at least two more. Just one, and just it's one. Two. <laughs> uh, Anyways, I'm. Trying to tell her like she gotta own that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make it fun. Like think of it like your way of thinking. Yeah. You go through most of your life without even using your middle name. What is this, what is there so much to think about? <laughs> Evan, I don't know. She just showed some disdain for middle name. I'm trying to bring her back up here, man. Yeah. No, it's a good way to think. Hey, of it. you know where Arvo lies. You know, even if I was a boy with a middle name Sue, I would still own a boy. It. If a, if you were a boy named Sue, boy named if Sue, you were you a boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, if. <laughs> We uh, missed this on the Portuguese League uh, thing, but you had something also to say about your girlfriend, about her thoughts on uh, Nino Torres? <laughs> Nino Torres, yes. Oh. No, no, I, I don't had, like this discrimination. I, I had the Porto Braga game on, and he, this guy is going off. He's like... He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing, ranting and raving, and she comes in, and she goes, how is this man employed? No. <laughs> How's no. He a job? And I'm just like... Listen, you don't get it. But then a day later, she goes, that guy was so funny. Oh, yeah. so she liked him. No, she liked Yeah, she liked him. Okay, yeah. okay. I guess he he seems a little unprofessional, but he's just making jokes. He's doing whatever. He's, he's, he's reading he, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's so fun. He's it's like reading, watching the game with a buddy. He's yeah. reading Twitter and then reading our tweets <laughs> yeah. that we make on our account all, yeah. out loud oh, to he people. Sh- he shouts out a lot of people. He shouted out Dave. He shouted out uh, M. Paiva. A lot, he, of the, a lot of the good uh, Portuguese tweets He always uh, shouts out uh, Mr. Benfica, like yeah. Agostinho. Yeah, he goes on uh, Two Good Tuesdays with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I, I love Mr. I, Benfica. I told her that we got uh, offered one time to do like his like Tuesday Live or yeah. Two Good Tuesdays. And she's like, what do you mean you, you haven't done it? Go do it. She's like, take off work if you have to do it. I was take like, off work. I was like, listen, I'm like, we'll get around to it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Sue, please. Sue. 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 We'll get yeah. there. Shout out to Nino Torres. If you guys uh, haven't listened to him or listened to Gold TV, that's, yeah, that's get the way Gold TV in your life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And don't subscribe steal, to Gold TV. Don't steal the feed. Subscribe to it. <laughs> Pay for that. Hey, keep yep. our keep man Nino, Nino employed. Yeah. Yep. I was going to say, do you want to do TFC news? Sure. Yeah. They signed Debbie. <laughs> from uh, he's a Honduran guy. And he was playing in Hungary. Debbie cool. Flour? Is it Deby? Deby. Cool. Then they're looking at some other French guy. There was a, a podcast that CJ Sapong did mm-hmm. where he spilled he kind of spilled the beans on the locker room a little bit. Yeah. I heard about this. Ooh. He said it was a mess. He said, yeah, they could have done like an Amazon Prime <laughs> show about it. It would have been crazy. I believe my Apparently, fa- Bernadeschi refused to stop vaping. 
<laughs> Bob Bob Bradley kept trying to get him to stop what? vaping. He's like, nah, man, I'm vaping in, in the in the dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's a vapor. Yeah, he's big the, time. He's the Maurizio Sarri of fucking Toronto. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, I got some thoughts on this. So apparently, according to like the like what he said, like the locker room, it's like. Look, if the guy's not going to do that, then obviously he's not going to do other things for the team. It sets a bad precedent. It sets just a whole morale of like, okay, these guys are above the team. They can do whatever they want. My thing is, it's just, vaping is so annoying. It is just yeah. so grating to me. Like, go outside and smoke a fucking cigarette. I don't know. You're smoking Man. the battery. I hate <laughs> it so much. Uh, so if someone's just doing it quickly in the locker room, blah, 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 that's what's annoying to me. It's like, just leave and fucking smoke your cigarette and come back in here and don't do whatever well, the hell like, this is. You can have the quaint vapes that it's just like a little puff or you can have the like super loaded mega cloud ones. I doubt it's the mega cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. You think he's like, doing vape tricks? <laughs> he's doing clouds with like circles and shit. You think Bernadette's just doing clouds and put, doing a French inhale on a fucking I don't know. Vape? This is a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Bradley comes up to him and is like, you better stop that vape. Big, and he does like a circle over <laughs> over his face. You are an angel. You are an angel. <laughs> oh, it's nice to think about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just think it's annoying. Yeah. That, so I don't like that about him. Get him off the team for that reason. Oh, Va- heard being a vapor. No, we're keeping them. He says Bernadeschi oh. and uh, Insigne, they're staying. If he can make it work, uh, sure. Uh, uh, other news I've heard... Uh, was uh, this is a tweet I got a quote tweet Danny Saldania quote tweeted mm. that uh, someone said there's interest in America for Peter Musa and Danny says I'll take him at TFC so oh, Danny shout out we would him. also like him I at TFC yep. come on down That'd be sick. Peter Parker give me the moose and the, um, give me the moose Sapong also moose. said the team did feel the the nepotism between Bob Bradley and uh, Michael. Of course, of course they did. Everyone it was, felt it. It was bad uh, vibes with both of them. Yeah. yeah. Terrible idea. Terrible. Oh, uh, stunk of the week. Shout out to Nene, but we love a cheese bar. Bar down, hits the top of the Nene. That's what I feel. Our Braga boy. Zalazar. Yeah, for sure. But Zalazar. if you want me to, to posit this goal of the week to me, I'd really like the lob. I like the lob. <laughs> the floater. Yeah. The floater? Yeah. I would put that as goal of the week. That's harder. Oh, yeah. It is harder. It's just cool okay. to see Bovista do that. Yep. Good old Bovista. Uh, Joao Wonder. If Salazar was Portuguese, I'd say Salazar. I would love to give it to Salazar. But you got to give it to Rafa. I got to say, also, Zalazar. Like, Zalazar, you got to be Spanish to have that name, right? You can't have the name Salazar. In it's Portugal. actually pronounced Salazar. Salazar, yeah. I think he's Uruguayan. Oh, okay. Uh, so he's, like, probably he's probably Portuguese uh, descendant of Salazar uh, flee, fled to Uruguay, right? Possible. That's what I would imagine. But Salazar was, was with an S, wasn't it? Yeah. But they change it down there. You have to make a change. Go to you have to make Stay a change. undercover. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just pausing that, but I, I'm going to say, ooh, Rafa. Yeah. Amazing week. Say. Well, he, he got to play two games, and he played great both games. The man is on fire right now. Yeah. But you know what? We haven't given it to him yet, and his run of form has continued, so maybe we don't, we keep holding it off, keep holding off. He wants that. Mm, that's he what he's really playing for. He really wants that draw and wonder, and you know what? We're not going to give it to him yet, because you've got more performances to do, brother. And hopefully this run of form continues all the way to the end of the year. So we're going to take it away from him. And I'm going to give it to... Hmm. Uh, I'm going to throw out um, Pote. Two goals in the Tasa, one goal on the weekend. Nah. No. I don't know. I don't I'll, know. I thought he played shit, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what Danny was saying. I don't Twitter. know what did fought mobs have to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I don't know. I've Bernardo Silva with the flick. That Bernard. was my initial one. Yeah, I want to say pronounce it with the flick, but uh, yeah, that's a good one. You guys kind of yeah. put down the flick real hard, like extra judgy <laughs> about the flick. I'm like, the guy made a beautiful goal. No, here. it was sick. We're just saying we've seen it a lot recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's that Jota Silva, Chico Cardozo with the nice header. Far- no, Nuno Santos, but we can't give it to we him. We can't give it to him for the controversy. <laughs> controversy. Um, when can oh, we start giving it to him, though? 
Uh, you you absolutely do not have to hand it to Nuno Santos. <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> okay, yeah. what's three guys we can throw a vote to? Rafa, Rafa, Pote, Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva. Okay, Pote, Rafa, Bernardo. Let's put it out there. We're gonna give it for the third straight week. We're gonna put it out to the fans. Put put it up to the fans. fans. Come on, we we don't get a say in this. We just put it out. We put it out. Yeah. I'm an old man. I'm confused. <laughs> Uh, thanks once again for listening. Hit us up on social at Portugal underscore corner on X at Portugal corner on Insta. Join us on Patreon. Listen to the talking Portugal in the corner. Uh, listen to us on Palma or on YouTube. Email us at Portugal corner at gmail.com. Subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Take a minute to leave a rating review and check out the old episode if you'd like. And yeah, we're going to go do a Patreon episode. No? You sounded you were like you were on 1.5 over there. Yeah. 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 You sound like you chewed some uh, caffeine and gum. <laughs> oh, bit, we're going to chew more gum. I think I'm crashing from the gum. Stroppy. I need more gum. Yeah, okay. I need more gum, too. <laughs> I, I got some more gum. Or I need some really pointy, hard, sharp bread with octopus You want to do the bread spread. now? Oh, yeah. octopus bread. Yes. All right. Yeah, let's do a bed, bread break. Bread's, bread and spread? Bread and spread. And then Patreon. All right. One more? Good. Thank you.